Hi, we're here again. It's Carol Stevenson with Lois Krasilowski from LiveInSudbury.com. And we're here today with Gina Lettering and Tom from Buddy Dog Humane Society here in Sudbury. So Gina, what, what do people usually come in and ask you? What's involved in adopting one of these cute little doggies? Well, we try and make the procedure as simple as possible. I mean, basically we look to make a good match. So we try and find you what you're looking for and what's going to be appropriate. And then we have you meet the pet, and um, there's an application to fill out, and that's pretty much it. Is there any fee that's involved in adopting a dog? There is. There's an adoption fee for a dog. Uh, it's three hundred dollars. It includes all the dog's medical um, and a health certificate. Uh, they've been seen by a veterinarian, and they've been spayed or neutered if they're over four months. Okay. And what what top three things do you think families need to know before they buy a dog, or look at a dog? I think um, the first thing is don't buy a dog. There's so many dogs out there for adoption and that if you're willing to wait just a little bit, you can find the right one. Um, when you're buying a dog from a pet store, um, you are getting it from a puppy mill. There's no way around it. Mm. If you're on Craigslist, your options are limited if it doesn't work out. So really the best way to get a new family friend is to go to the shelter, meet it, and know that you have options if it's not working out for you. So so where do your doggies come from and the kitties? Do they come from other shelters? Do people drop them off? Where, where are they coming from? They come from lots of different places, and those are two of them. They come from other shelters in different parts of the country. They come from local families who, for one reason or another, aren't able to care for their pets. And we do take in local strays as well. Um, so there's sometimes information about the dogs, and sometimes they don't have a problem. Do you find, Gina, that um, some of the animals are here for many years and don't get adopted? Um, we have had a couple of dogs over the years that have come in and gone out and been returned because they may have had some issue that wasn't going to be right for that family. I mean, everybody you know, has their own little quirks and some dogs are harder to place than others. Um, but the general stay here is about um, 10 days to two weeks. 10 days to two weeks. Mm -hmm. What about the cats? I mean, you seem to have, you said you had 40 cats here at this time. We have a lot of cats. People don't seem to care as much about cats as they do about dogs. There's no rules governing stray cats. Um, we get a lot of cats in this time of year, trying to get them from the cold, a lot of stray cats and kittens. Um, so we always have a lot of cats. When people come here, do they allow to walk the dogs? I mean, how do they get to know that this is the right dog for them? Mm -hmm. First, if we have information, we have them read the information to make sure there's no big um, issues for them in the um, profile. And then they can take the dog out, take it for a walk. We have beautiful walking trails in the back of the building. Spend some time with it. If they think this is the dog for them, we'll have them fill out the application, leave a deposit, and then make them come back the next day so they have time to go home and think about it and make sure they're doing the right thing. Yeah, well, I was, um, I love Buddy Dog. I've lived in this area for over 30 years, and my first dog and my first cat I got <coughs> here. That's and great. Uh, my dog, Nico, lived a very, very long life, and she was just an absolutely wonderful dog. In fact, we never even had to put her on a leash. She was just so, such a wonderful, tame, and just friendly, and she loved being with us. I think that. I think that do you find that these animals are very, in a way, emotionally appreciative of when they get adopted and 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 like to maybe cling to their owners a little bit more than other. Others? I think we certainly see a lot of pets who haven't been appreciated, um, and sometimes just because it wasn't the right dog or cat for them, so um, they find the number one issue for people turning in pets is lack of bonding. Mm. So when someone finds the right match and it really fits in well with them, they're going to bond with that dog. And, and um, the dogs do appreciate it. They, they want that, like you said, that one-on-one -on -one time. So. so put in a plug for Tom. Tell us about <laughs> Tom, how old he is. Is he ready to go home with somebody? Tom is going to have his checkup with Dr. Sinigan tomorrow. Um, he's an eight-year-old neutered male. I'm sure he'll go very quickly because he is non-shedding and he's very small. I would say he's about 10 pounds. Um, and um, I don't know a lot about his history, but we do have information on him. If anyone is interested in uh, meeting Tom, they can call the shelter. Uh, okay, say if, goodbye, Tom. If, bye some, bye. if someone's not in a position to adopt, what else can they do to help out? Well, we have a volunteer program, um, and that is always full, but we're always recruiting new folks. We have a lot of the kids in town that come to do their community service here because that's, that's, great. that's required great. by the high school. And so we always have a lot of 
kids walking dogs and um, people come and spend time socializing cats in the cat room. And so there's a lot of things you can do. There's, we have a wish list if people want to donate items. Um, there's lots of ways to help. That's great. Okay. Thank you so much for spending some time talking to us today. Thank you for having me.